Hey guys, this is Brain for DMB Academy, and today I will show you how to create a pad from a percussion sample. So we'll start digging into the DMB Academy Creative Suite. Inside the percussion folder, we can find some cool samples. Let's say I will use something short. I like this kind of conga. Then we'll drop it into a MIDI channel. And we'll start playing with the notes. Now, you need to go to Audio effects and place a long river, maybe 80% on dry wet, then long decay and short size. Something like this. Size you can place no, so it's kind of more clean. The reflections and um, you can also mess with the other reflections to get a different tone I think this one's cool yeah yeah I think this is cool um, also you want to make sure that you're cutting your low end Okay, I like that. Now uh, you can use the spectral resonator to create cool harmonics as well. Not 100%. Here you can choose chorus if you want. Create something different or experiment with wonder and granular. Of course, I think it's a good option. Then you're gonna use unison for create more voices. Something like this. You can also mess with the frequency. Then more decay. And use the high frequency damp to clean the high frequencies. Yeah, just make sure that your high frequencies are not that loud. Maybe you can boost the reverb here. I'm kind of experimenting right now, but yeah, you should do the same. Yeah, I like something like this. Okay, now what? Uh, create a new audio track, just put resampling in the input and then record your sound. Oops, okay. You could play in different notes. Even lower note. Okay, this is very cool. Now I will dig into my sample and just take the best part. I think it was this my favorite.
Okay, and now you will create a new MIDI track and drop your new sample in there and just make sure that you're using the sampler so you can get stereo cool you can also mess with the normalize volume mm, and also maybe boost some volume here if you want Like this one then we'll go to filtering global and we'll change the amplitude envelope to get short attack that's cool maybe you can change the starting point that's lovely more volume Okay, and the same with the release, I will get more release. So when I play different notes, it gets more time, more length, is the right word. And you could experiment playing chords if you want as well that's very very cool more volume here yes I love that all right, let's find some round loop just to experiment something. Once again, creative suite. Let's go back to the drum beats. Okay, I love this one. Okay, so yeah, I think you got the idea of what I wanted to show you today. Don't forget to subscribe to the mbacademy.net. You can find some of my preset packs, sample packs and tutorials. And I hope this video was interesting for you. Thank you so much for the time and see you in the next.